Hey guys, welcome back to the D Time Love Show. And today, you join me on a Friday evening UK GMT time, 20 minutes to 10. And uh, today, I've got a very interesting video for you guys. I've got an offering from Thomas Earnshaw, the Buffon Anatolia Automatic Watch. And the reason why I'm featuring this watch today is that I've had many questions over the last year or so about Thomas Earnshaw watches, and in particular, a couple of their timepieces. But one of the most popular requests was about the Thomas Earnshaw Buffon Anatolia. What are my thoughts? You're a real Breguet tradition fan. You love that type of watch. But there are very limited watches out there that offer on an alternative, affordable solution. Some people will never be able to spend 20, 30, 40,000 pounds on a Breguet. And they're looking at affordable alternatives. And you guys have asked me about my opinion on the brand, the watch itself. But I have to say, I very rarely give opinions on watches that I've never experienced in my actual hands, in the real flesh. I've, I only talk about watches that I've handled in real life, that I've owned or I've had some experience with. Because how can you give an opinion on a watch unless you physically held that watch in your hand? Hence why I've got it here on the channel today. As you guys know, I've been doing a lot of work with Dartmouth brands, the likes of Spinnaker, and Dartmouth um, actually own Thomas Earnshaw. So I got in touch with them about this request, and they so kindly sent me the watch to review. So today I'm going to do an unboxing, my first impression, just a general brief review, and I'll probably review it after six months of ownership to give you a more in-depth review about its reliability, its timekeeping, and so on. But before we go into the unboxing, in terms of the mini review, let's do a quick wristwatch check. And today I'm sporting the Spinnaker Bradner. I love the blue dial, very cool. I'm absolutely a sucker for blue dials. I love that compress compressor case. And I've got, I've dressed it up with some real croc. And what can I say, it's quite a versatile piece. You really can dress the Bradner very well. And it looks absolutely stunning on the croc as well, I have to say. Beautiful, stunning watch. But anyway, let's get into the unboxing, the mini review of this Thomas Earnshaw Buffon Anatolia watch. Right there, let's get stuck in the unboxing. My first impression of this Thomas Earnshaw Buffon Anatolia watch. And as you can see, it comes with a brown box. Let's open this up. And what do we have here? We have like a mahogany solid finish wooden box as well with a Thomas Earnshaw logo there. And you can see the Thomas uh, Earnshaw there on the box as well. Let's open it up. Okay, it's got like a false leather finish inside with the logo and there is the watch guys now when i first opened this watch my first impression was wow it really is breguet inspired it's got its own theme going on don't get me wrong but for example look at the case kind edge case very cool Get that little polish for you guys uh, very cool indeed but before i give you my first impression just have it let's have a look at the size of this watch now looking at this watch we have 43 millimeters in terms of diameter depth height of the watch is 14.5 millimeters lug width you're looking at 22 millimeters the leather band tapers down to 20 millimeters. Now this watch, let's take a closer look. This is Ionic plated in rose gold. And I have to say, Thomas Earnshaw have actually executed the Ionic gold plating very well indeed. So looking at the bezel, you've got a high-end finish polish. You've got the coined edge finish on the case. Very breguet, I have to say, very nicely done. 
And then on the lugs, you've got a high-end finish polish as well in that rose gold. And let's take a closer look at the doll. And as you can see, the doll has some real depth to it. And uh, you can see the second sub doll at six o'clock and uh, textured doll in the middle with the breguet hands, Roman numerals and the Thomas Earnshaw logo at 12 o'clock. Very nicely done. And you can see the bridges there giving the actual doll some real depth. Very nice. Very nice. I'm, I was really surprised. I didn't know what to expect. And I can see why this is one of Thomas Earnshaw's most popular watches. They really do sell quite a few of these. I've never seen them in real life before. And I want to say a big thank you for Thomas Earnshaw for sending this watch to me for, to me to be reviewed due to the questions that I've had from my subscribers. And I want to be as honest and critical as possible. First impressions, design aesthetically, it looks very good. First impressions are good. I'm not, I have no negatives to talk about in terms of design. They've really gone all out, I have to say. And what do I love the most about this watch? Are those open hearts ticking their lives away, giving life to this watch. Very nice indeed. Now, in terms of the color combination that we've got here, uh, we've got the rose gold finish, but the actual dial, I don't know how well you can see that in this lighting, is actually a dark chocolate dial finish. And I'm a big fan of that color combination. Very cool indeed. Now, let's have a look at the case. Like I said, there is that coined edge, coined edge finish. Like they've got a high-end finish polish and the crystal is domed a domed hardened mineral crystal and i don't know if you can see this in this lighting but there is an anti-reflective coating on this hardened mineral crystal and uh, very nice indeed it, it looks classy it looks elegant it definitely looks like a much more expensive watch than what it really is now those of you that know about breguet watches those of you that sent me a hundred emails about Breguet and looking for affordable alternatives. There's nothing out there. And what are my thoughts in terms of Thomas Earnshaw? I have to say it does a pretty good job in terms of giving an affordable alternative to a watch um, that would be 18 karat rose gold around the 40,000 pound mark. It is a good afford affordable alternative. And um, I'll tell you what, um, what I would say to people is, um, if you know someone young who's getting into smart watches and you want to get them into mechanical watches, I'd say what, go and buy them one of these. I'll be absolutely intrigued by the beauty of the dial and just every aspect of the watch. Now, um, I don't know too much about the movement of this watch. I do know it's 40 joules. Let's just take it off the watch cushion. Bear with me, guys. Now, I don't know too much about the, the movement in this watch. Now, um, and I'm not going to comment because I don't know what the movement is. and I don't know what's in there, but it has got a clear case back and it has been highly decorated. So what does it say? Water resistant 5 ATM. So you're looking at uh, 50 meters water resistant automatic movements. All stainless steel. This has been Ionic plated in rose gold. I have to say they've done a very good job. So I'm so unsure. Um, nice clear case back. Highly decorated rotor. The, the whole movement seems to be covered and decorated. Very nice. Very nice, I have to say. I'm not too sure about the actual logo being on the actual clear case back. Uh, I would have preferred it to be on the actual rotor. But nothing major, not a biggie. Um, I'm not sure if this watch is hackable, so let's just test it. Bear with me, guys. Yes, it is hack. It is hacking. So the second sub dial at six o'clock has stopped. Let's just put the crown back in. 
Yes. So it's manual wind hacking. It's a 40 joule movement. I'm not too sure about the power reserve. Uh, what I'll do, I'll do a more in-depth review um, in six months to let you know about if there's any reliability issues and how well it keeps time. But um, what can I say about this Thomas Earnshaw watch? You know what? It costs £520. Have a look at their website. Um, I think if you look around, you may be able to find it a little bit cheaper elsewhere. But I believe the rose gold combination that I... Um, this particular model is more of the expensive uh, one in the range. Um, but yeah, you know what? Overall, I like it. It's a cool looking piece. Um, the leather strap is okay. It does the job. I love the buckle. I like that. Very nice. Um, I would probably match this watch up with a real croc or alligator strap. Just to give it more, more class, give it that more of a luxury look. I think would really finish this watch off very well. Um, yeah, you know the leather bands, all right. It, it does the job, but you can't beat some real croc. I have to say. But overall, guys, what can I say? I love the coin edge finish. The construction is okay. Negatives. What could I say for five hundred and twenty pounds? I would expect Sapphire Crystal, to be honest with you. So that's the negative, I would say. The movement seems pretty good. I love the open heart. I love the textured dial. I love the depth of the dial. I love the Breguet-inspired design. Very cool. So I guess there aren't many affordable alternatives out there. And if you love that look, this really is an alternative, I have to say. And uh, yeah, I'll give it the thumbs up. So anyway, guys, let's get it on the wrist before I let you go. Yeah, looks pretty good. The only thing I would say that when you're buying a watch like this, you normally buy it to be a dressy type watch in your collection. And uh, it is quite thick, which is another negative. You know, I've actually, you know, worn a Breguet tradition and uh, that was 11 millimeters. But look, that's a £40,000 watch. The one I wore in all gold, 18 karat gold. This comes in at retail price 500 and 20 pounds 14.5 it is very loud it blings look at me i'm very expensive um so it does really punch above its weight and very cool with an open heart i have to say well done Tom thomas earnshaw for producing a watch like this and i can see why it's probably their their one of their most popular watches within the lineup it is very cool and what can i say i love it i think it's cool i love it yeah, I love those ticking hands. It's not going to be to everybody's taste, I have to say, but I like it. And I'm sure, and I know it does please a lot of wrists out there. Uh, it won't be for your purists because of the movement. I'm not sure what the movement is, but it has been highly decorated. It's got 40 jewels. It's manual wind hacking. I love the depth and 3D dimension to the dial. And yeah, it's very Breguet. And for me... You can't go wrong if your watch is being designed and inspired by that. I wouldn't say it's a homage or anything like that. Uh, yes, you can see where it's taken its inspiration from, um, but they've given it a bit of their own sort of design to it as well. Very cool. Very cool indeed. Anyway, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe if you love the content. Don't forget to click that little bell so you don't miss any of my content. And I, I'll, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys. See you soon.